from my home in the mountains out here in Costa Rica. This is a long day of video filming, actually. We are still continuing from the front vlog video and also day number one. So this is going to be day number two in our boot camp, which is, again, going to extend five, six, seven, eight days of content and training on how to market your business. And today specifically, all right, I'm going to cover how to blog every day, where traffic comes from, and how to dramatically increase your knowledge and understanding of traffic without having to be an SEO guru, a social media specialist. Uh, even if you're brand new, you can use this information here at the Empower Network, especially in our blogging platform with our proprietary traffic systems, uh, to start getting traffic immediately, to start getting sales immediately in your business, to start generating more leads, and also to just kind of break free, free of some of the some of the paradigms, all right? Now, this specifically is not going to be covering a lot of social media expansion. It's not going to co cover a lot of SEO. We're actually going to get into these in the future boot camp days. I'm going to try to keep this between 15 and 20 minutes, although I do tend to be a little bit long-winded, but this is going to be the core foundational principles that you need to know to get a lot of traffic in your business. Now, before I continue on, I'm going to cover real quick what a principle is, all right? Because a lot of people, they look at marketing wrong. Okay, now I might even be spelling that wrong. I don't know. I think it's spelled principle like this. But what's a principle? It's a universal law. There's a reason why things happen. See, a lot of people in their business, they get started in a business, and they focus on the, the how-to without focusing on the why-to. And I'm telling you, they miss it. Here's why. Because you got on this side the why-to, right, and you got on this side the how-to. Now, the how-to we're actually going to cover in the future webinars. We are going to go over some specific strategies. Here, we're going to go over some specific strategies. We have specific things in the manual below this video. If you're here, of course, when the manual's finished. If you're here before it's finished, then sorry, right? But here's the reality, folks. The why to the how-to over here, right? Number one, they're different, right? But number two, the how-to changes all the time. Then do you notice? I mean, you go to a meeting one week or a, a training one week, and they're talking about something, and then they're talking about something different next week. Well, if you're focused all your energy on the how-to and you're not focused on the why-to, you never know why these changes are happening. You'll be confused for the rest of your life. But if you focus all your energy on the why-to, here's the key, you can actually come up with the how-to before everybody else does, right? So what I'm going to teach you today is, number one, I'm going to teach you why traffic works on the Internet. This is going to be a blessing and a breakthrough to you, okay? If you, if, if, even if you've been on the Internet for a long time, you'll be like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe I've never thought of this stuff, all right? I'm going to teach you why it works. I'm going to teach you why certain things will never work, right, online or offline. I'm also going to teach you why certain things do work. I'm going to teach you how to construct your own strategies. Now, some of this is leadership concepts. Now, just as a thing, I want to tell you in advance, we go over a lot more of this information in the $15,000 per month formula, right? We go over a lot in that product. It's our core leadership product here. Remember, that product is a one-time payment of $250. It's available in the members area. All right. And we also cover some of this in the blogging membership. We also cover a lot of it in the inner circle. All right. But here's where I'm going to go over the principles. So let me tell you first my background in principles. I took martial arts my whole life. Right. Ever since I was a little kid, I took martial arts. A lot of people don't know that about me because, of course, I don't practice now. And people, when you tell them they take martial arts, now you're going to see me and say, hey, Dave, and, you know, throw jabs at me in the hallway and see how fast I'm at walking. Right now, if you do that, I just, you know, I can't be liable for anything that happens. But here's the reality. I don't tell people this a lot. But I took karate all growing up. I took wrestling, things like this, and grappling. And, uh, you know, fought my whole life for fun. Never got in a lot of fights in school or anything like this. But I was pretty good around the time I was 19 years old. I used to actually get out of school, and I'd go to karate, and I'd hit stuff till like, midnight. My teacher actually gave me a key to my school so I could stay at school all the way till midnight just punching and hitting stuff. All right? And I was actually I was, I was pretty decent. I won all the tournaments I was ever in. Uh, this is way back in the day. I used to actually train. I don't even train now anymore. But I learned a lot. This kind of kept me away from drugs and stuff when I was in high school, you know, because I was always around good, positive people, you know, who were good influences in my life. And I'm zany. I'm one of these kids that, you know, could get addicted to stuff. So it kept me out of trouble. It helped me learn a lot about life. But when I was 19, I started taking a different martial art than karate. There's something called Wing Chun Kung Fu. Now, I don't know if this is reflective of all Wing Chun schools, right? I'm not an expert on Kung Fu, definitely. And I've met a lot of people in all martial arts that can kick my trash. So don't be offended if you're like, hey, I'm in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I'll tackle your legs. I'm sure you could. All right. Just listen to my story here. It's a great story. Right. So I go there into this school and I'm tough at the time. I wasn't all skinny like I am now. I used to lift weights. I could bench press twice, twice my own body weight because I used to be into that stuff. Take protein shakes three times a day and stuff like this. I'm a big fat neck, you know, and I get down there in the school and I'm tough, man. I could just punch through stuff. I mean, I could break bricks with my knuckles and stuff like this. I used to break stuff with my head too, you know, just craziness. That's kind of why my forehead maybe a little bit elongated. Right. And I used to do all this crazy stuff. I go in there. And there's this guy, this little guy in Kung Fu, 
and his arms are like these tiny, skinny arms, and they look like girl arms. This is a true story. Now, this guy's name is Carlos. He lives down in Orem, Utah. He's from Mexico, right? So he's a short little Mexican guy like this. His arms are tiny, and I looked at this guy, and let me tell you what I said. I said, that guy looks like a wuss. Right? It's the first thing that went into my mind. I was like, this, it, there's, there ain't no way this guy can teach me anything. Look at him. I mean, I could just take him and throw him in a garbage can. Right. Because you think that when you're a big guy. Right. That's what you think. You're like, I'm huge. I can crush everybody. Right. You ever seen the UFC championships and you see a little grappler take down a guy that weighs four times his body weight? Not about being big folks. Right. So this guy, he taught me something first day I was there. He said, Dave, principles are the laws that govern the universe. So what we're going to teach you here in Kung Fu, we're not going to teach you how to do things. We're going to teach you why things work. First principle that we're going to teach you is that the triangle is the strongest geometric shape in the universe. Now, obviously, a three-dimensional triangle is even, is even stronger. He says, but a triangle is the strongest geometric shape, and therefore, everything that you ever do, your body is going to move in a triangular structure, because if you go in any other structure, right, your structure is going to break down, and you're going to have to put more force for less power. So I thought, yeah, okay, whatever. I'm thinking, look at this little weenie guy. I don't even know why I went to the school after I saw him, right? But then here's the interesting thing. This little skinny guy, he's this tall, tiny arms, Virtually no strength was like fighting a waterfall. And he, he actually said at the end of the class, I went there the first time, because he could tell I was skeptical of the things he was saying. I said, and he goes, try to hit me, Dave. And I said, you got to be kin. I was fast and I was strong, right? He goes, try to hit me, right? Don't worry about it. Do anything you want to do. Kick my legs. Try to hurt me. Try to hurt me. Try to jab my eyes out. Try to pull my hair. Try to tackle me anything you want to do. Now, I had never had anybody do that to me because, you know, in karate, they're like, all right, go ahead, punch at my head. I'll show you what to do. And you, you punch at their head and they're expecting it. And then still sometimes you hit them in the nose, right? But this guy's like, do anything you want to do, Dave, anything at all, right? And so I was a little confused there for a sec because I was like, okay. And this guy was like fighting a waterfall. And this is what it felt like. And I kid you not. And I'm teaching you this for a reason because it has a lot to do with traffic. And you guys are like, Dave, you're rambling. I'm telling you folks, this is so important to get, right? It felt like I was swinging behind a waterfall and someone was throwing rocks at my face, right? That's about how in control I felt like fighting this little guy. And he hit like he was a huge guy. And I couldn't figure out how it worked, but I went to class every day after a while. Now, here's the key. I did martial arts my entire life. And, of course, I had friends growing up up in Alaska who'd taken martial arts with me my whole life. They went to the school, and they were brutal. They made me stand in a corner and practice the same thing every single day, sitting in a corner. And if I looked, they'd come slap me in the face. I mean, they were like in you know, China. They would kick me in the knees if I, you know, if I moved my legs, right? They would throw me down on a cement floor and make me stand up again 500 times in a class until my back almost bled, right, in this school. They were like, the, if you've ever seen Kill Bill, they were like that crazy guy, you know, in the mountains with long hair, right? This is what my kung fu school was like. It was like that guy, right? But here's the thing. Three months of that. Now, I'd taken martial arts my entire life since I was 12, right? And I was 19, so it was like seven years. And I had all these friends I used to fight with, right? We'd put on, you know, gloves, and we'd beat the snot out of each other and things like this. You know, back when I used to lift weights, I used to care about this stuff. Before I realized one day, I was like, man, I never get in fights, you know? But then I used to do this all this stuff. I went back after three months of kung fu, right? My friends used to be on a par with me. We practiced together. They kept practicing up in Alaska. Three months of Kung Fu. I ditched all the karate that I knew. Now, it's not because Kung Fu is better than karate. It was because of how they trained at that school, right? And I just beat the snot out of my friends when I went back. So easy. It was like cutting through warm butter with a hot knife. It was so easy to just tear the snot out of them, right? I stopped lifting weights. I stopped doing all this other exercise, dropped the karate, and I beat the snot out of them. Now, again, that's not a knock toward karate. It was a it was a thing towards this school because they taught me how to do one thing at a time, and they taught me that principles are more valuable than techniques because when all is said and done, when the world is flying at you, right, when everything around you is changing, it's the roots of why you're doing things that are going to make you focus and to say and to relax and to say, I know exactly what to do. That's what I'm going to teach you in this video is how to do that in business. Okay, so there are some principles on why the Internet works. And the internet, everybody says it's this fast-changing you know, place. It's constantly moving and adapting. But then I look and I take a step back and I say, why is this happening? And ain't nothing changed in 20 years other than technology and advancement and how this works. Right? So let me explain to you exactly how the internet works. Right? Where does traffic come from? Traffic comes, right? and this is the way that you got to think about it, when you are starting your business, you have a website. Now, normally, you're starting with your own domain. Here at the Empower Network, we help you build on one domain together 
because it's better to build traffic on an authority site than it is to have all our own individual sites. I've proven that by launching this site because we've gotten more traffic than thousands of individual websites our first month in existence. It's a better model. I'm going to talk about why as we go through this training. Now, if you haven't done that yet, you want to buy the Empower Network blogging system for $25 a month. Participate in our community blogging traffic because we're going to help you build your business. Don't care what your business is. You can blog about whatever you want. And all these big networks out there try to control what you can and can't blog about. And we're going to let you do whatever you want on an authority domain very important to your business. All right, but here's the reality. The principle of it is you've got your website here and your website, think about it like an island in the middle of the ocean. It's not connected to anything. There's no bridges to it. It's out. It's Hawaii, right? It's out in the middle of nowhere, this little jewel in the Pacific. You've got all the best marketing in the world on it, but if ain't nobody's going to find it, if there aren't no ships that can go next to it, nobody's going to buy nothing. All right, and you probably felt like that before. Maybe you spent $5,000 on a website before only to find that nobody finds it. And of course, if nobody finds it, you don't make any money. So first thing that you need is you need to understand why do people go to a website? Well, you can think about it like this. Your website is like an island in the middle of an ocean, right? And an island needs bridges to it from different sources to bring traffic to the island, all right? And there's different ways of getting to your island. You can fly to it on an airplane, right? You got a little, you know, airplane going on here, right? That's the worst illustration you ever see in your life. You can, uh, you know, take a little ship to it, you know, take a little canoe with a with a boat to it, right? Another horrible illustration, right? You could build maybe a, a bridge or an underground tunnel, right? Like from England to France or wherever it is, right? So you can build a bridge to your you know, your, your island here. And there's some other ways you can get to the island. You could swim, right? <laughs> if you really wanted to, you could swim to the island. But what, you, what do you want if you're trying to build a lot of traffic to the island? Do you want one way of getting traffic to the island, or do you want many? You want many, right? Because if you only have one way of getting traffic, what happens if that way stops working, all right? So what you want is you want airplanes flying in, you want boats going in and cruises going in, right? You want people taking swim tours and doing all sorts of crazy things. You want tourists bringing people in. You want business bringing people in. All kinds of things you want coming to your island. Now, in business, in marketing online, there's only so many things that get traffic. And you want all of them taking traffic to your island. Now, here at Empower Network, here's the thing. we got an island with thousands of bridges already pre-built to Empower Network, right? Now, Empower Network operates on this principle. Right? And what's a bridge on the internet? Here's the key. It's a link. Nothing more, nothing less. It's a link, and preferably a link that somebody sees. If there are links in places, people click on them. It's this fascinating thing that I learned about the internet, that if there's a link somewhere on a website that gets traffic, people will click on the link. So a link is a bridge, right, to your island, right? So what do you need in order to get traffic to your website? Lots and lots of links, and here's the key. You want links that people look at. Now, here's the key on how much traffic you're going to get to your little island in the middle of the ocean, which is, again, is your website. And remember, you have a website now with the Empower Network, if you're in for that $25 a month, that already has thousands and thousands and thousands of authoritative bridges built to it and has a community of right now, as of making this video, 13,000 people who are building links every day. There is no way to reproduce that kind of traffic on your own, building on your own site. It's much better to do it in a community because of this linking power, because you get to start with power. Your new people get to start with power rather than starting on their own, right? Kevin, my, my photographer, my video guy back there, he does SEO on his photography site, and he has to build all the links on his own, right? It's more powerful to start in communities, all right? So we have this thing with thousands of links coming in, because remember, a link is a bridge in the Internet world, and that's all that it is, right? And there's different kinds of links. What are the kinds of links that you have? Well, you have an article that could link. Right? An article is kind of a bridge on the internet. You have videos. Videos are kind of a bridge on the internet. You have pictures. The pictures are kind of a bridge on the internet. Right? You have social media. Social media is kind of a bridge on the internet. And there's actually thousands of different types of tiny little link variations that you can build, but there's a few main ones. Articles, videos, pictures, social media. All right? These are links that build into your website. All right? So if you want traffic, what do you want? You want bridges from articles, videos, pictures, and social media. So if you want to get traffic, what do you got to do every day? You've got to put new, unique, here's the key, unique articles, videos, pictures, and social media on the Internet, and you've got to put them on your site, and then you've got to put them in as many places as possible pointing to your site. Now you say, Dave, how do I get actual traffic? This will bring traffic on its own. But here's the key. There's actually a formula 
on how you get the traffic. The formula is how authoritative are the bridges, right? So in other words, it's like you have a tightrope versus a massive metal bridge, right? That's built in construction that's, you know, got huge spires in it. You want the massive bridge with spires, not the tightrope, right? That brings it, because a tightrope might bring one person a day. It ain't going to bring hundreds of thousands of people a day. How do you get a more authoritative link? This is going to blow your mind how easy it is. The, the authority of your link is determined by the amount of bridges it has to it. That's it. That is how it's determined how much traffic this link's going to get, which determines how much traffic you're going to get. That's it, right? So how does this build authority? Well, it's from the articles, the videos, the bridges, the pictures, the social media, and it's from their links that they have to them and from their links that they have to them. That is the only thing that controls how much traffic you get on your website. All right, does that make sense to you so far? So how do you operate in these principles and how do you create success with what I just showed you right here? Well, there's a couple steps to it that you've got to understand. Number one, you've got to know, right, that in order to succeed, you must blog daily. Because what's blogging? It's uploading photos, it's talking about videos, it's writing a little comment on social media, and it's writing an article that's 500, 700 words. That's it, that's all that it is, all right? That's what you do every day. This creates natural traffic. Now, in the kinds of links that there are, there are natural linking structures and there are unnatural linking structures. Both work. The natural linking structures work a little bit better, though. All right? So if you want natural traffic, what do you got to do? You got to create stuff that people want to give you links to, which is good content. Folks, there ain't no training that I could do around creating unique content that's good, that's well-researched, that's well-thought-out, there isn't any training I could do. There isn't any seminar that I could do to replace that. Okay? If you do this every day, create good content daily, right, you will get traffic, period. Now, let me teach you the different kinds of traffic that there are, and let me teach you how to create them and how the Internet works. All right? So if you ever want to know how to get lots of traffic, this is what you got to do. Go to a site called Alexa.com and download something called the Alexa Toolbar. If you download the Alexa Toolbar, folks, here's what you're going to learn. You're going to learn that certain sites have rankings on the internet, and you can see how much traffic somebody gets by its traffic ranking on Alexa. You can download that toolbar. You can install it in your computer, all right? And you can also see the top 100 sites online, the top 1,000 sites online by their ranking. And what I would encourage you to do, don't study traffic from sites that don't get traffic. Study the traffic of sites that get lots of traffic. So if you go to Alexa and you look at the top five websites, you're going to know what gets lots of traffic. And it's as simple as this. We got number one. What is it? Google. Google's the highest traffic website in the world as of making this video. Facebook might pass it by the time you see the video, because this video will probably be here for a long time. Number two, you got Facebook. Right? Facebook is the number two traffic site online. Number three, you got YouTube. Right? And I can't remember what number four is. I think number four is like, you know, Yahoo or something like that. Right? You can check on the internet. Now here's the key. All these sites are the same kinds of sites. You say, Dave, Google is different than Facebook. True, Google is information only, right? Because what's Google for? It's for search. It's for information. So you know, if you've got good information, Google wants you. If you've got bad, spammy information, Google doesn't want you because it hurts their customers. So no matter how much linking you do, if you have bad information, eventually Google will be able to find you out if you're just out there spamming. Right now, there's ways of manipulating search. Folks, in the future, it will not be possible. All right? Now, Facebook, here's the key, is social. Why do people go to Facebook? Not for info. They go there to hang out. All right? When I first saw Facebook, I said, what a waste of time. Because I was trying to figure out what my wife liked about Facebook. But you know what she likes about it? My wife likes to hang out. She likes to talk to people. I like to do stuff, right? But here's the thing, folks. Facebook, people spend more time on this website than any other website in the world. Why? Because there's no purpose. They're there to hang out. So social stuff gets traffic. What's the next thing that gets traffic? Next thing that gets traffic is to be entertained, entertainment. Entertainment draws traffic naturally. Now, we're talking natural traffic here without any forced SEO. We're going to teach you how to do forced SEO, too, but I'm telling you it's not as long-term. All right? Entertainment. Entertainment draws traffic naturally. And what's Yahoo? It's another similar site. You know, they have free services and things, but there's a social community, right? There's social community, right? 
These are the kinds of things that people like to see on the internet. So people like information, they like to be social, they like to be entertained. Does that make sense to you, right? Most people, most people, when they start a business on the internet, they're boring all the time. And they're just horribly boring. I promise you, if you're boring all the time, you will not get as much traffic as if you're interesting all the time. It's better to be less informative, a little bit more interesting, right? If you want lots of traffic. Why? Because, as you can see by numbers two and three, the second and the third reason people are on the internet is to hang out and to be entertained. And I'll tell you something, when somebody's looking for information, you know what they're really looking for? They're looking for entertainment. Why do I say that? You say, Dave, no, they're not. Prove it to me. Okay, prove it to me. They're looking to be entertained. Because what are you going to buy something more from? Somebody who says, this is exactly how to do it, bam, 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 bam. Or somebody that keeps you laughing and giggling and keeping, continuing to watch their video. Okay. The laugh every time. Why? Because, folks, if you go and you get the information, then bam, you got the info. What do you do? You leave the site. Right? Whereas if you can keep people on the site, continuing to watch the videos, continuing to read the content, continuing to read the, the stuff, guess what? They're going to keep coming back because they just like you for some reason. See, this is what happened to me when I started on the internet. First, I was serious. I was just like, information only. I'm just showing people the facts, how to do it. Bam, 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 bam. And I made some money. And then I said, you know, I wonder what would happen if I spent like two-thirds of my videos getting people to laugh and people and tell jokes and stories. And I spent like a third going through information. You know what I found? More people watch my videos. My conversions increased. More people bought stuff. But here's the key behind those people that bought stuff. They continued to buy stuff again and again and again in different products, services, opportunities, businesses, right? I'm telling you, a well-thought-out article, it should be no more than 20% information. A well-thought-out video should not be any more than 15 or 20% information because you're losing your audience, right? Sales conversions go up when it's more entertaining and more social. Entertainment and social, then information in that order, right? That's take it or leave it, all right? So this is how to do it. So then what do you do every day with this info? Well, number one, if you want good information, you got to learn to be informative, all right? So what do you have to do? Well, I talked about this in the last video. You got to study every day. Every day you got to learn something new. You just got to. You got to work on yourself before you work on your business, all right? Now, we're going to take care, here's the key here in the Empower Network. We're going to take care of the back-end stuff for you. If you're a member here of this system and you're qualified during commissions on the products, we will take care of the back-end sales process for you. So you don't have to focus on the sales videos and the, on, on things like this. You don't have to focus on the capture pages. All you got to do is focus on this stuff, which is the traffic. The front-end stuff is the traffic. We're going to take care of the capture page conversions. We're going to follow up your leads. We're going to send them through this boot camp for you, make sure they're coded properly to you so you get the credit. We're even going to help you earn 100% commissions here, all right? But you got to learn how to get traffic because otherwise, who's going to see the video? Who's going to see the boot camp? Who's going to get involved, right? So what do you do? In, and you got to learn information. So you got to be on the calls. you got to study every day. got to learn something new a little bit every day. You know, even 15, 20 minutes of study every day in a year, folks, and you just win over everyone on the Internet. Because nobody keeps studying stuff. They think they got it, right? But you got to stay on the edge, read blogs, keep involved with emails, listen to the audios in the inner circle, study the stuff, all right? And we go over a lot of this information, a lot more detail in the $15,000 per month formula in video number one. We teach you the concepts behind this stuff, and some of it will boggle your mind, and some of you will be like, huh? You'll need to watch it two or three times, all right? So you got to learn. Right? What's the next thing you got to do? You got to learn that it doesn't take a lot of time to connect content sometimes. Here's an example of something that you do a lot that is a source of traffic that if you do, right, your team will do and brings a huge amount of leads into your business. A lot of people, as an example, they'll send somebody to a cool political video. They'll say, go check this thing out on YouTube. I just saw this video by Ron Paul. Or I just saw this video by Obama. Or I just saw this video by this, you know, religious speaker. It's hilarious. Or I just saw this video making fun of religion and politics. Just check this thing out. Or I just saw all these pictures on the Internet. They're hilarious. And they're sending people all over the Internet to different kinds of websites. But you know what it'll do? If you have a blog here at the Empower Network, all you can do, just as an example of a way to get fast traffic, from now on, every time you do that, take the YouTube video, 
All you got to do in our blogging system to use that YouTube video is take the link and paste it into the blog hit post. It'll actually put that video on your blog post rather than send anybody to somebody else's website. Why not send them to your site because people will go to your site instead of going to YouTube. They'll watch the video on your site. They'll share the video on their site with their friends and family. And what will happen is rather than going and opting into somebody else's list and buying stuff from somebody else and learning about somebody else, they'll buy stuff from you. Now, that's not a core strategy. What that is is something that take two seconds. Every single time you run into something funny that you want to send out, pop it on your blog because YouTube loves it because they want backlinks to their videos. The video makers love it because they want people to see their videos. And your friends still love it because it's still the same dumb video. But now we can use our marketing psychology and we can help sell your customers rather than wasting your time just shooting a link out. And it takes no more additional time. We'll show you how to do that actually in the manual below this video. All right, so the manual writer who's going to write those manuals, I ain't doing it. Put that in there if you can. That'd be great. All right. So that's an example of how to use entertainment and social media from something that you're already doing to get traffic. Now, if you do it, not a big deal, but if you do it every time you do it, over five years, it's a huge deal. And here's the key. Blogging is like permanent flyer plaster. You put it up, it just stays there. And put a little paragraph around the video telling people why you think it's funny, and more people watch it, more people will share it, you'll get more traffic. I had a guy get involved in the Empower Network, and all he did, now you guys say, Dave, this is a business video, but this is all he did. He started blogging about the top 10 hot Alexa topics for, like, you know, Britney Spears' new video or, what, you know, whatever it is. And this guy got 20 leads in a half an hour from some hot thing he put up from Alexa.com because the Empower Network blog ranked in the search engines. He got, like, 20 leads from people looking at celebrity stuff. How did he do that? Because he understands it's not just about SEO. See, everybody thinks this is, okay, SEO. Folks, SEO is a small part of traffic. Look at this. SEO, social entertainment, right? and then community. So SEO, yeah, it's the number one site on the internet, right? But I'm telling you, Facebook sometimes outpaces Google just with fun stuff, just hanging out. You guys realize that? You see the difference there? All right, so what do you do? You put something up every day, and you make it informative, you make it social, you make it entertaining, all right? And you focus on social, entertaining, and then informative in that order. Right? And you say, Dave, I can't be entertaining. It's okay, not everybody can be entertaining. I realize that. But most of you all, you try to fit in this business box, and folks, you ain't business people. Some of you guys just ain't business people. You're more, you're like me. You want to jump in swimming pools and run through the mountains and talk about nothing and make money on the internet. And you can't, because all this is, is it's a game of traffic. Right? So here's what I'm going to encourage you to do every day for the next 90 days. Now, first of all, Right? There are articles, there are videos, there are pictures. These are things that create traffic. I want you to blog about something every day. And I want you to make your blog 500 to 700 words around a core subject. Tomorrow we're going to teach you some basic on-page optimization. If you're serious about learning blogging, I want you to get in, get the $25 blogging product, All right, number one. And the second thing that I want you to do is I want you to purchase the inner circle. So you have stuff to constantly be educating yourself on daily so you can be educating your downtime. Third thing I want you to do, I want you to get the $15,000 per month formula minimum. And if you're serious, you'll get the Costa Rica intensive product as well. I want you to pick up on these products, okay, because that $15,000 per month formula, the first three videos, there's three videos, there are three hours, it's actually nine hours of training just on blogging, right? You say, Dave, nine hours? What you're going to do is every day you're going to go through about an hour of the training Right? And you're going to go through that in, over a nine-day period of time. Remember I said about an hour of education, about two hours of work is what we want you to do every day. And every day we want you to post something with 500 to 700 words. Now, it doesn't matter whether it's a photo. It doesn't matter whether it's a video. It doesn't matter whether it's just an article. What you want to do is if you post a video from YouTube, you take the link, and then what you do is you write 500 to 700 words about the video. And we're going to teach you SEO, on-page optimization, all that stuff. But for now, don't even worry about it if you're new. Follow the process in the manual. You say, Dave, what videos do I blog about? Here's the key, folks. Whatever you're interested in, whatever is going to keep interest of the audience that you want. So one of the things I've done a lot, just an example, somebody I love and respect is Tony Robbins. I love that guy's stuff. 
You know, I love all the people in the niche. I love Jay Bum stuff, you know, Dillard stuff and uh, it, all these great, you know, people in the in the industry. You know, I'm good friends with Mia Davies. She's good at videos. Toby and Layla make some just ridiculous videos, right? I don't know if you've seen any of their stuff. But what do you do? Take a video that they make because they love it. It's exposure. And write a little 500 to 700 word write-up and you've got an instant article about something online. You want to teach somebody a skill? Some of you think you need to make your own videos. You don't have to, folks. You can embed other people's videos. It's totally legal. They want it because it gives them backlinks. They love it, right? Because you're giving them backlinks. And then write a little write-up on what you learn in the video and write, make a little visual process for it. And that's a way to blog. What's another way to blog? Blog about what you learn in this video on your Empower Network blog, right? Blog about something you learn in the inner circle. Blog about something you learn, right? And the 15000 per month formula. Now, there's some proprietary stuff. We don't want you to teach you everything in there. But here's the key, folks, that you do in the $15,000 per month formula. Blog about something you learn in there and then tell people to buy it. And you know what will happen? People will be looking for this product on the Internet, searching for it. They'll find your little educational thing, and they'll buy it from you. And you're going to make sales by being informative. Now, here's the key. This traffic, what happens with it? Well, we're going to capture this traffic. And here's what we're going to teach you how to do. This is not an instant process, but this will get you traffic and leads immediately if you follow this daily. And if you follow this process in this 15,000 per month formula, you will get traffic immediately. But here's the key. This is a 90-day process to build out normally with the Empower Network because we do have an authority domain. It's a 30 to 60 day process to build out the traffic system. You need to be consistent and follow the assignments in the next videos every day for the next 90 days. You need to follow the manual and read the assignments and just get a little bit educated. All right. But these are the concepts that drive the traffic. So what do you do? You make a post using the principles. Make sure it's informative, entertaining, and fun. Right. You say, Dave, that's not education. It's the most important education. It's the kung fu of it. Right. Make a post. Number two thing that you do is you are going to get massive amounts of links to your post. Number three thing you're going to do is you're going to learn how to get authority links to your post. And you're going to learn how to do that in two hours a day or less in the next few videos. And the next thing that you're going to learn how to do is you're going to learn how to bring that traffic into a funnel, how to capture the traffic. Now, we're going to do that for you in the Empower Network. And here's the key. When you make a sale, they keep you keep the money. You keep the money. Why is that so important here? Because, folks, we're selling something of value that gives community power to businesses all over the world. We get more traffic than any site in the entire niche that, that we're involved in here. Any site in our niche, we get more traffic, right? And when we make a sale for you, all you're doing is getting the traffic. You keep the money. This is the key. Normally, in this industry, you have to focus on too many things at once. You have to focus on design, right? And you're not a designer. Right? You have to focus on SEO. You're not an SEO guy. You're going to learn some SEO, but you're not an SEO guy. Right? You can ask my, my camera guy how fun SEO is to learn when you're not an SEO guy. It ain't necessarily fun unless you're into it. Right? I've got a friend named Chris. He calls me at 2 in the morning. He says, Dave, I just found a new way to get a backlink, and he's excited. He actually teaches some fascinating stuff in the 15,000 uh, per month formula. We have a whole bonus series that's by my good friend Chris. Okay, in the 15,000 per month formula, they'll walk you through structurally how to create backlinks and then how to make those backlinks authoritative through an SEO structure. And if you're an analytical type person, you want to know how to create what's called multi-level backlinks uh, to your to your post. It will get you 10 times the traffic if you're looking at doing SEO. But here's the thing. You have to focus on SEO. You have to focus on design. Then you got to learn how to sell stuff. Right. You got to learn how to capture leads. All right. Then you got to learn how to upsell. Right? Then you got to pay for technology. Then you got to pay for lawyers to write your disclaimers. And then you got to follow up with your leads. And by the time you're done with it, not only is it 10 hours a day, but it's $20,000 a month. And I'm not jerking your chain there. This is expensive stuff to do. So, what we do here at Empower Network is I wanted to make something that grandma could do. Right? Because what I just taught you to do is nothing different than you do on Facebook anyway. You upload photos and videos, except for you just don't get no money. Here, you get 100% commissions when somebody buys our products and services as long as you're qualified for that product or service. And I'm going to go through the qualifications, comp plan stuff later in this video series as well. But, folks, here you do it. So what should you buy now? Number one thing you should buy is you should buy the blogging system. Why? Because here's what it does. We've got disclaimers written. We've got follow-up series written. All right? We've got design taken care of. We sell the stuff for you. 
we capture the leads for you. You keep the leads, right? The lead capture pages integrate with your own autoresponders. It is easy to set up. You just need a little code from your company, right? Your own merchant account, you get to keep the, uh, the money from the upsells. We focus on the technology. We invest about $30,000 a month in the programming technology here at the Empower Network, way more than most people are willing to spend because we want to keep on the cutting edge, all right? And so what do you focus on? Little SEO. You focus on one thing, and that's traffic. Did you know that it's much easier to learn one thing than it is like 10 things? Did you know that this does not cost very much money, right? That's it. That's what the eight core commitments will show you how to do. And then as we go along, we're actually going to teach you how to branch off this traffic into multiple sources so you've got infinite numbers of bridges going to your traffic over the course of the next 90, 120, you know, 240, 365 days. And we're going to teach you how to build these linking structures that bring unbelievable power to your stuff from all over the Internet. We're going to teach you how to create social fun information that people want to see, but you have got to decide to take action here. So I'm going to encourage you to get the blogging system, number one. I'm going to encourage you to buy the Inner Circle membership. You need it. Be willing to invest in your own business. All right? You say, Dave, one customer breaks, breaks you even. Don't talk to me about money. Here's why. Because when I started, I lived in a van, folks. I lived in a van, and I made this happen. So make it happen. All right? And you see all these bugs flying over. i got to go inside. They're going to start swarming my face here in a second. But, folks, you want to get the backlinks, Inner Circle. You want to get at least a minimum of 15000 per month formula. And then you want to pick up on the Costa Rica Mastermind Intensive 2. It's going to go over more leadership concepts. We're actually going to cover this in the latter half of this free series. So until the next video, go through the manual, follow these assignments, go through the videos in the back office. Whoa, got bugs in my face, so I'm going to stop and blog daily. And I'll see you on the beach of the world, my friend.